there's a bag flapping while you're out riding and uh, it all gets a bit scary. Well, today I'm going to be showing you what I do, just the first stages of how I make my horses so incredibly bomb proof. We are going to be really desensitizing Dream, the little pony that we rescued, and hopefully the process will also help Bruce with his confidence. I'm going to just be using stuff that we find just anywhere on the farm so that I can show you how you can do the exact same thing on a serious budget. Keeping horses is such an expense. So hopefully my vlogs show you how you can still do the fun stuff. You can still get a really good safe pony. But you don't have to pay ridiculous amounts of money to do so. And you can do it all yourself. I'm really looking forward to when Dream's gonna do the obstacle course. It looks so cool already. Is there anything you wanna add to it? I want to add a jump. We oh, let's add a jump. So, I have put together this obstacle course for today. I thought it would be really fun for Bruce to be able to get to know his pony more while at the same time doing something that will really, really make Dream a fantastic little pony. This is what we've made. You can literally use anything that you've got lying around. That's just some old hazard tape that for some reason I had a line of. Then the string is one that's for pegging down tents. And then we've got an old stepladder that was left here that's only got three legs. Then I put some more hazard tape on the fence better in the wind because it really blows and then we've got a tarpaulin I do love a tarpaulin so it's very scary for a horse I think this is water so really good for getting them traveling through water and this represents those flappy plastic bags that we all know and love and are terrified of so this is the sort of thing I use on a regular basis because it really does make a massive difference to the bravery of your beloved horse. Come on. Oh. Come on. Is he going to go through? Come on. Come on. Yay! Which one? Such a good pony. Aren't you a good boy? Can you trot him through, Bruce? Trot him. Come on, we're gonna go for a ride. Don't look at him.
And look, it costs nothing. I think that top was about seven pounds. I'm not sure where the hazard type came from. Just be on lime though. Carrots. Come on then. Come on. Good boy. What a brave boy. You are so brave. Come on then. You are so brave. You are so brave. What you come on to here? Good boy, Jenny, on your own. You're so clever. You're going to stand up here with me. doing things like this so much fun and so valuable especially if you're someone who likes to go out hacking and to new places and that you don't know what you're going to come across i don't usually feed by hand but when you're doing things like this i find that having that extra incentive helps them to not be frightened so i'll give her a treat before we go in then when we get to it, because I want her to duck her head. Good girl. So now I'll give her another treat. Okay, so now she should go through and come back for me. So she'll go through and then she'll come back. 
Good girl. In the dark, a Alex, as easy as that. Ducking our heads. Good girl, ho. Not bothered about all the stringy things of all around, and then she's going to duck her heads again to go back again. Fantastic. 